I'm going to go through in this video and cover how to use the old Moto Contacts utility to import private contacts into a code plug using CPS 16.0 build 828. I'm going to use Bluetooth to connect to my radio and import the existing code plug. It takes a little bit uh, to get started, but once it reads the code plug or begins reading the content out of the radio, it moves along pretty quickly. And there we go. We're in the final stretch here. And I'm just going to save that into a working directory that I'm using for this demo. I'm just going to call it demo XPR7550 codeplug.ctb. And there's the file. If I take a look at the list of contacts that are already in here, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and do sort by type. Pay special attention to the icon that's to the left of each contact because you can see that there's a difference between those that are group contacts and those that are private. So if I scroll down here through the list, you see I've got a good couple hundred or so that I are in here. What I'm going to do is there's about three of them that I want to keep. I have one that I use for Parrot, one that I use for rebooting my Pi Star Hotspot, and one I use for shutting it down. So I'm just going to be careful not to delete those because those will get removed from channels that I already have configured. So there's my three that I care about keeping. And I do have a group contact for 9990 just in case I ever run into a situation where I need that. And I'm going to save that and close the code plug. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a backup copy of it. I'm going to rename it to Moto Contacts temp and save that. I'm going to move over to the folder where I have the Moto Contacts utility and I'm going to open it. And this error is fully expected. Again, it's old software tries to connect to DMR mark site, which no longer has the contact. So I can click on this generate sample CSV and just move it over here. And if I open that with Microsoft Excel, it creates a sample with a couple of users. You got uh, Elmer Fudd, WB Group. Notice the name and the radio ID in row one. Those are important. So I'm just going to close that. I'm not even going to save it. And we'll switch over here. And this is a ready-made Moto Contact CSV file that was prepared for us by N1KDO. I'm going to do is I want to sort these based on the call sign because when I import them into the code plug, I want to make sure that they're imported in alphabetical order because I'm like that and I like to make sure everything is either in alphabetical or numeric order. So I'm just going to do a custom sort. And because I included row one, I do want to choose my data has headers and I'm just going to say we're going to sort by name. And now if I go through this list here, very clearly we can see these are all in alphabetical order now with their corresponding DMR ID. So I'm going to save that and close this. And we're going to go back to Moto Contacts. I'm going to go File Open. And I want to be very careful that I don't open the code plug that I care about. I'm going to open this one that I don't really care about. And then I'm going to select File and browse to the file that we just sorted. And then I'm just going to click Add Contacts to Code Plug. And you can see here, 356 contacts added. And make sure you do File Save. Otherwise, if you don't, they're not actually written to the Code Plug. So if I just go ahead and double click on this and open it up, and I come over here and we'll scroll down under Contacts Digital, Look at that. They're all there. It's a beautiful thing. 
can we inter automatically import it like 356 contacts much better than having to type them all in i'm just going to make sure we sort by type which automatically will also sort by name after it does by type so you'll see there's the group contacts first the private contacts and uh, they are again they're all in alphabetical order so I'm going to, the beauty of the Motorola CPS software is it does allow us to open a couple of different code plugs at the same time, actually a lot more than a couple, but in this case, we're only going to do two. So I've got my Moto Contacts one. And just at a, just for grins here, I want to show you what Moto Contacts does to a code plug. Notice that when I try and write that, it's going to tell me that the code plug is corrupted. And that's because that Moto Contacts utility is so old that it doesn't understand the database schema in the current revisions of the code plug. So I'm just going to open up the one that I don't care about that has the new contacts and the one that I do care about. And I'm going to be careful here again, make sure I don't select any contacts that um, I already have in the code plug, because if I do, it'll tell me that there's conflicting objects so we'll do a right click and copy and then i'm just going to go down to digital under contacts and we'll do right click and paste it takes a second it's going to write all those into the database so be patient and then i'm going to go back here and i'm going to grab the other half below my pi star private contacts i'm going to do copy make sure we get the right spot i'll do paste and again just make sure you give it a second we can actually close that old one here or the one we don't care about we don't even need to save it and we'll expand this here and again i'll do a sort by type and there we go. We've got all of our contacts freshly imported. So I'm just going to do a quick save. And then let's write this guy to my radio. And we'll see this time we don't get any sort of error wrap about corruption because it wasn't Moto Contacts that made the change to this code plug. It was just copying and pasting the contacts into a known good code plug. And that is all she wrote. Done.